What it do, YouTube? It's your boy Mike from NYC, and we back with another reaction. Well, I guess it's not really technically. It's not. It kind of. It technically is a reaction, but it's not going to be a traditional reaction. So today, I wanted to talk about something a, a kind of interesting that I saw on um on TV not too long ago, or really last night. I was up late at night, you know what I'm saying? The TV was on, I was watching Girlfriends, you feel me? Um, one of the great black shows, really, especially of the last, like, two decades or whatever the case is, you feel me? And I was watching it, and I saw this episode, you know what I'm saying? And I'll, and I'll clip it. I'll clip it right here, so, you know, you could just watch that. The only reason I'm not darker is because I dodged the sun. You are a woman that uses her beauty to get what she wants, but you don't think you're beautiful? That is deep. Just because I have superficial values doesn't mean I'm not deep. <laughs> it's just that I'm in the market for a husband, and to secure my financial future, I'm going to have to give him a couple kids. And if I were with Dale and we had a girl, then she would be beautiful, like you but even darker. I don't want her going through life hearing, oh, you're cute for a dark skinned girl, or tar baby, or skillet. Tony, we were in home ec, and for the umpteenth time, I said, hand me the skillet. <laughs> no, what you said was hand me the skillet, skillet. <laughs> I didn't think you heard me, so I repeated skillet. <laughs> All right. Explain the time you called me Tar Baby. You called me Bug Eyes first. <laughs> that is not funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> me too. And maybe I do have some issues. It ain't maybe. It's how many. <laughs> and I probably should not worry about my kid. Because I'm starting to think I don't even want to have it. Right, and after watching that video, I was like, wow, you know? Or actually, after watching the episode, I was like, wow, you know? Because when she first, so a little backstory to that, you know, the reason she's talking about that in the first place, the reason she's talking about her and how that dialogue even came to was that she went on a blind date with this guy who was supposed to be a millionaire, but she rejected him just because he was dark-skinned, right? And that raised up controversy, and immediately I thought, yo, she's done, like, she's, like... Like, not really, but, like, my mind, like, nah, she's cooked, like, she's old, she's canceled, like, not really, I didn't use those, I didn't think those words canceled in my head, but I was like, nah, she's done, though, like, if one of my, if one of my people that I'm close to say something like that, they're done, and then when I hear the reasoning behind it, it really made me think of how much empathy I initially lack in, in, in general, you know what I mean? And it just made me think, like, wow, like... It just made me think about all other situations that I feel like are potentially canceled. Like I don't really, I don't really think about cancel, but I just think about like if I knew them, I might, I might cut them off. You know what I'm saying? Like I, like our values don't align, and you know, you just may not be a good person inside on the inside. You just may not be a beautiful person on the inside, whatever the case is, right? And then you hear her say stuff like that, and. Honestly, no matter how you feel, you have to understand the logic in that. This complete logic in that. You not wanting your kids to to this is I don't know, this is giving me a little bit of like weird vibes for me. So I'll just put this down here. But um what was I saying? You do have to understand the logic in it, and it makes a lot of sense. You know, as a parent, you want the absolute best for your offspring. And living in America, it is probably it's more ideal, certainly, for you to be lighter than dark. You know what I mean? So I, you definitely have to understand the logic and 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 empathize with how she feels a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for sure. But you know, as I think about it, I'm like, damn. Like, I, I, my initial thoughts are so different when I understand why things were happening or why she felt the way that she felt and it, and or why she was maneuvering the way that she was maneuvering. And I was wondering, like. In what other situations that I've looked at blindly without understanding the root cause and said, you know what, that person's a bad person. For example, later that night, it was real late, you know what I'm saying? I was watching, um, you know, I was falling asleep and I was watching I'm Dante react to the EDP 445 situation. I don't know if you heard about that, but he's a popular YouTuber and he is a, 
uh, you know, he's a pedo, you know what I'm saying? Or he's an alleged pedo, but you know, it's, it's pretty obvious based on the evidence that was shown that he is into underage children. You know, he's a pedophile, whatever, right? So I'm watching, the, I'm listening to the video I'm falling asleep, right? And I'm like, you know, I'm listening to the conversation that's being had and, and I'm Dante reacting to it. And I'm like, damn, like, in my brain, I'm like, nah, he's off, right? And I'm thinking er earlier that night, I said the same thing about Tony. So I'm, I'm thinking like, is there something, is there a reason that he could say why he's doing what he's doing to then for me to think like, wow, he's, he may not be a bad person. You know, he may just be somebody who's super sick. I think somebody, you know, for example, you know, somebody who is a colorist, and, and hates themselves. That is somebody who's super sick. I don't. That that may not necessarily be somebody who's a bad person. You may be doing bad things. You, but you may not be a person who is trying to be bad because there's good people who make bad decisions every single day, right? So you may not necessarily be a bad person. You just may be really sick or 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 super misinformed, right? And I was thinking like, okay, well, how how far does that grace fall? Like, does the grace fall infinitely as long as the intentions isn't to be a bad person? Because there's people who get off on just causing destruction, kill, kill, steal, and destroy. There's people who get off on literally just causing chaos. So I'm thinking like, damn, like, okay racist or us colorists or racist you know what i'm saying there's there's some type of potential grace that they can uh fall under where i may not view them as a bad person i just view them as a person who really needs help and i would say and then i started thinking like how is that any different from a, a you know a child molester you know or like not not necessarily a molester but somebody who likes children and, and who battles with those demons you know what i mean because first and foremost people don't choose what they're attracted to if people chose what they were attracted to things would be a lot different people a lot of people that are gay wouldn't choose to be gay you know what i'm saying Th and things like that you know so you don't choose to be attracted to children i think there's something that it is not clicking intrinsically that that you're just probably sick or just something probably wrong you know what i mean something is might just possibly be be wrong with you you know what i mean and i and i was thinking like under what pretenses do those do those does that grace fall you know because I, I can see the grace with with being racist and colorist i just see you as somebody who needs help somebody who does things like that potentially somebody could have grown up in a household you know that they was like you know I, you know, super, super messed up situation to the point where it was like, yo, like, that was a regular thing for me. I would get, you know, I, um, I would get assaulted sexually on a regular basis. And I just thought that that's how you express love, right? Like, under those pretenses, are, are, are you still looking at that person like, nah, you're a bad, malicious, evil person? Or are you looking at that person like you are super sick and messed up? You know what I mean? So the first thing I wanted to say was, or the first question that I really wanted to, to create dialogue on is, right, if, if you're trying to gauge a person, right, because I was just thinking under the pretenses, like, I might have to discard this person. But I think under what, what pretenses do you, do you try to evaluate some, somebody, right? So is it, for example, is it all intent? Right, because somebody could be doing lesser evils, but be doing it for the sake of destruction, not be somebody who is who 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 is misled or somebody who somebody who just does it for the love of destruction, right? Somebody who let's say you wake up every morning and your goal is to just cut as many people off in traffic just because that is your main goal. This just because you know it causes destruction and that gives you joy. I would consider that person more of a bad person or a worse human being than somebody who does greater evils with lesser intent. So my question is like what is the balance between intent and and 
action in terms of you trying to evaluate whether somebody is actually a good person or not. You know what I mean? Because somebody could be doing a whole bunch of bad, but their intentions may not necessarily necessarily be that. And somebody could be doing a whole bunch of lesser evils, things that are within the law, things that uh, things that nobody cares about because it's not illegal, but very immoral for the reasons that that they're doing them. You know what I mean? So that's something that 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 episode made me think about. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it it really made me take a look at myself in the mirror like wow like you know what i'm saying i'm so quick to potentially judge somebody on a situation and i don't even know anything about them you know like i don't really know what was going on in their lives i don't know what they were thinking you know because like i said bad people or good people make bad decisions every single day and bad people make and bad people do good things they, they probably just don't do them for the right reasons you know so just because you do good things but your intentions are bad you know that's like that doesn't make you a good person because you do good things you know so i was just wondering like what are you guys' opinion on um like intent versus action in terms of what makes up the quality of a good person or what makes up you know uh somebody that's a good person versus somebody you feel like that's not really a good person you know so those that's really my thoughts on that um yeah i'm trying to think is there anything else i want to say yeah um definitely like comment share and subscribe if you like these type of videos and i will see you when i see you peace